In this video, I'll show you how to um, create a demo account in Flipgrid to use the service. So you're going to go ahead and select Demo and from the um, Flipgrid homepage, which is flipgrid.com. Put in your first name, last name, email address, and school uh, organization. Once you do so, you're going to get an inbox um, to create it. Uh, once you do, uh, in order to get to the teacher interface, you're going to go ahead and select the admin login. Um, put in your email address and the password um, that you got set up after um, responding and verifying via email. And there you'll see the um, Flipgrid uh, tool. Uh, there's basically two components to a Flipgrid. There's the grid itself. Uh, and so as they point out, this could be, for example, a class, a section, or a period. And then within a grid, you can have multiple questions. Um, in this case, we're going to set up one grid. Where are you from? And we're going to have uh, two questions associated with that grid, uh, just so you can have a chance to see how this works. So we're going to go ahead and add a new grid. Um, we're going to go ahead and give it a, uh, a grid name. So where are you from? You can make a grid private, meaning that a password is required to be used in order to have access to the space. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this behind a a Moodle page that's password protected, so I'm not concerned about making it password protected. I can moderate the grid, meaning that I'd have to approve each video response before the grid is approved. Um, I can make it active as soon as it's submitted, and if I want to get real-time emails about uh, who's participated in the grid, I can uh, do that as well by leaving the grid switch on. So I'm satisfied with the default settings. I'm going to go ahead and click Add a New Grid. I can always change them later. Um, as they point out, grids are a collection of questions for students to respond to. So the grid is simply a page, and you could have multiple questions on any single page. Uh, so the grid is created, and I'm going to go ahead and click Close. And you can see right now that I can go ahead and see how many questions I have in my grid and some of the toggle switches that were there before. So I have my grid created. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the grid, and you'll notice that when I selected the grid below, uh, is where I can go ahead and add questions from the grid. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and add a new question for my where are you from grid. And the first question is not surprising. Are you foreign? I have some basic tools such as uh, bold, italicize, or I can even create um, hyperlinks. I can make this question active as soon as um, I've added it. And you can see this is the URL that I can share with my Flipgrid. I'm going to add another question before I do so. So again, I'm in my grid, where are you from? And I have one question. I'm going to add a second question. And it's going to state, where would you like to live in 10 years? And I'm going to make this question active. As well. So now I have two questions for my Flipgrid. The key is to make sure that you copy this URL. This is what will allow students to respond. So I've highlighted the grid and I've hit the control key on my Mac to copy the link to address. And I'm going to go ahead and press close. And just so you can see what this looks like from a student's perspective, I'm going to slip a new browser, enter in that URL. It'll build, build my Flipgrid and as simple as in the plus line, agreeing to the term, allowing the camera, uh, lining up my face, taking a photo, saying it looks good, beginning my recording, uh, and I have only 90 seconds to respond. So um, I am from Denver, Michigan. Stop recording. Uh, so um, I am from Ann Arbor, Michigan. Actually, I'm going to record this again because the question was. Where would I like to live in 10 years? Where would you like to live in 10 years? Begin recording. In 10 years, I would like to live in this place. Stop recording. In 10 I can years, listen to I would it. like to live in Go ahead and click continue. Put my name in. Submit my video. Return to question. And then I can, and here's the part that um, I would definitely show students. 
um, I can return to the different questions that are available. So here's that first question, where were you born? And just like before, plus sign, agree to the terms, take a photo, say it looks good, begin recording. I was born in Ann Arbor, Michigan. video. Um, any student can listen to another student's um, video. Oh, if they like it, they can heart it or plus it. And you'll start to see as they get watched, um, the number of uh, watches will show up. You don't have any sense of who's watched it. Um, and then finally, as the instructor, let me refresh the page, um, I can see that I have two questions. And if I select those questions, I can see that in that grid, these two questions, I have two views for the second question. I have one response from each one. And if I wanted to uh, watch them, I would just go ahead and click on that uh, link. And it will let me uh, watch all of the questions so far. So that's the uh, very short uh, version of how to use Flipgrid.